Seoul. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un arrived in Russia on Tuesday for a meeting with President Vladimir Putin, during which they are expected to offer each other increased support in their escalating standoffs with the West. Kim is expected to seek Russian economic aid and military technology in exchange for munitions to be used in Russia's war in Ukraine. North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency, KCNA, said Kim boarded his personal train bound for Russia on Sunday afternoon, accompanied by members of his ruling Workers' Party of Korea, the government and military. After decades of complicated, hot and cold relations, Russia and North Korea have drawn closer since Moscow's troops invaded Ukraine on February 24, 2022. The bond has been driven by Putin's need for war supplies and Kim's efforts to boost his partnerships with traditional allies Moscow and Beijing as he tries to break out of diplomatic isolation. South Korea's military assessed that the train crossed into Russia on Tuesday morning, Jeon ha gyu spokesman of Seoul's defense ministry, said without elaborating on how the military obtained the information. Get the latest news delivered to your inbox Sign up for the Manila Times newsletters by signing up with an email address. I acknowledge that I have read and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Later in the day, Russian news agencies quoted Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov as confirming that Kim had entered Russia, and reported that his train had crossed the Razdolnaya River, north of the city of Vladivostok. Officials identified in North Korean state media photos may hint at what Kim might seek from Putin and what he would be willing to give. Kim is apparently accompanied by Jo Chun Ryong, a ruling party official in charge of munitions policies who joined the leader on recent tours of factories producing artillery shells and missiles, South Korea's unification ministry said. North Korea may have tens of millions of artillery shells and rockets based on Soviet designs that could give a huge boost to the Russian army in Ukraine, analysts say. Also identified in photos were Pak Thaesong, chairman of North Korea's Space Science and Technology Committee, and Navy Admiral. Kim Yong-sik, who are linked with Pyongyang's efforts to acquire spy satellites and nuclear-capable ballistic missile submarines. Experts say the North would struggle to acquire such capabilities without external help, although it's not clear if Russia would share such sensitive technologies. Kim may also seek badly needed energy and food supplies, analysts say. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Rodenko said Moscow might discuss humanitarian aid with the North Korean delegation, according to Russian news agencies. Putin arrived in Vladivostok on Monday to attend an international forum that runs through Wednesday, Russia's TASS news agency reported. His first meeting with Kim was held in 2019 in the far eastern city, about 425 miles, 680 kilometers, north of the north's capital Pyongyang. Peskov said Putin and Kim would meet after the Vladivostok forum, but reports didn't specify when or where. The meeting would include a lunch in Kim's honor, the spokesman added. Kim's visit to Russia is his first foreign trip since the coronavirus pandemic began in March 2020, during which North Korea imposed tight border controls for more than three years. Lim Soo-suk, South Korea's foreign ministry spokesman, said Seoul was maintaining communication with Moscow while closely monitoring Kim's visit. No, United Nations member, member should violate Security Council sanctions against North Korea by engaging in an illegal trade of arms and must certainly not engage in military cooperation with North Korea that undermines the peace and stability of the international community, Lim told a briefing. In Japan, Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Mitsuno told reporters that Tokyo would be watching the outcome of the Kim-Putin meeting with concern, including the impact it could have on Russia's invasion of Ukraine.